this was probably the last film before the franchise started to become a cash cow. And I... Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to, well, welcome back to Zombie Weekend. So we're on day seven now and for that one I'm reviewing Resident Evil Extinction. The third installment in the Resident Evil film franchise based on the video game series of the same name, Resident Evil. And we get, the, we get you know, Paul W.S. Anderson on the writing of this film with Russell... Uh, Macaulay or somewhere on the directing and it stars series regular star Mila Jovovich with um, you know Abba, Abed Fetch or something with newcomers Ali Larter and Ian Glenn with um, yeah with other newcomers and new characters to the series some video game based uh, from the the films so yeah what did I like well what's the plot so far well taking place you know sometime after Resident Evil Apocalypse where the earth has become overrid with T virus infected zombies the deserts have reclaimed the land on Las Vegas and dried out and also, you know, Alice, you know, is a super weapon now given the ending of the first, the second film and that. And um, also we get to, you know, see, you know, some new characters come into it, including one played by Ali Larter, who we all know from Heroes at that time or Final Destination 1 and 2. And um, we also, uh, you know, see some um, action sequences here and there. And we get Ian Glenn playing a scientist, Dr. Isaacs, who's trying to cure the zombies or change them or what have you. But um, also they're cloning Alice and using the clones as experiments and what have you while zombies are walking the earth and that. So that's probably the story there. So what did I like about this one? Well, I liked that we got some action in there and, you know, this was probably the last film before the franchise started to become a cash cow. And I can see the quality slowly sliding from it, so that's one negative there. But um, I thought this had some good visual effects. The bit with the crows and when she sets fire to them all, that's pretty cool and badass as well, zombie crows. So I always wondered in zombie apocalypses what happens to crows when they're feeding on the dead. You know, we get infected crows in this. Um, we also see Ian Glenn who then gets into his mind that he is the future and decides to just, instead of trying to cure the virus, just mutate and evolve to it. And we get, you know, Mila Jovovich taking the lead as she does with this series and she just kicks ass on the bad guys. And then we also get clones of Alice which is insane and mental but what the hell I go with it and she ends up the clone helps her in the end and then we realize as the film ends we have a whole clone of Alice's which takes us into the next film Afterlife um, so yeah th there were moments in there that were cheesy and tacky and like yeah this is starting to lower in the quality now but I did like the post-apocalyptic setting in this and you know some of the horrors we had. Not a lot of horror in this, there's definitely a lot of action in there. More action than horror I would say, but uh, you know, it still features zombies which is the horror bit and they're all mutating and what have you. Uh, but this was probably, like I said, probably one of the last few good ones before the franchise started to turn into a cash cow and lose the good quality of it all. But uh, Still, it, it, it's a fairly decent one and I find it watchable. 
but over the years I would say it has sort of lowered a bit and is not as good as it used to be as I remember it but still all right enough yeah well, like I say some of the digital effects have aged a bit but this was 2007 when it came out you know and it, so it is over 16 years old now so ratings what will I rate Resident Evil Extinction oh I will give it three brains out of five three brains out of five for Resident Evil Extinction so there is my review for this one so have you seen it let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description so you can check it all out. So I'll be back tomorrow for the final day of part two with a zombie horror. And yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. So until then, until next time, don't have nightmares.